Who wants to do this? Okay, so we're just, uh... Welcome to Samurai Nighttime. No, I don't know. How do you guys, <laughs> do you guys want to make it sound at least? What up, y'all? It's your boys. The one and only Samurai Nighttime. Welcome to the podcast. Today, or tonight I should say, because it's nighttime. Hey. We have Gary, Wes, oh. Lance, RJ, and your boy, Aaron. I thought we were saying yeah, something. I was, I was, say our I names. Was gonna, yeah, I was going to hope we were saying our names. Yeah. This is me, Wes, and then we have... Don't, don't keep any of that. That was Why not? No, I liked it. That was, that was a good. good. That was a good intro. Are you serious, yeah. bro? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're that, that was Aaron, Gary. Yeah. Oh, that was Aaron, Aaron, so by the way. Okay. And then, okay, so we have Gary. Gary, who's eating lunch or dinner? Can Hello. That? Okay. They probably can. Okay, and then we have Lance. Yeah. Hello. And then RJ. And then Aaron did that fantastic intro. That was a great intro. Oh, uh, you know, I'd be trying. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. technically, this is the first episode. This is the first episode. This is number one. Because first one was zero. So zero zero yeah. still testing everything out we're still testing everything out what does it take um, to be number one if you haven't already you probably have seen our youtube because that's the only place you're hearing this so <laughs> while you're here subscribe Woo-hoo. and follow us on instagram both youtube and instagram at samurai nighttime yeah, yeah, very good. and then yeah a round of applause button yeah i know i want it oh that's uh, what i was supposed to do i was supposed to get it find a, a soundboard, soundboard, app. soundboard. Oh, that's eventually a soundboard, maybe. Mm. Oh, I got one. Y'all, oh, okay, oh, you no. have at least the one. Can you I can control it? Stuff. Nope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you find find one yourself. Yeah. No, last buy one last time you said you suggested no, Lance have Yeah, Lance. Lance, yeah, could be Lance ask me again. It's just a, it's just a, Lance, yeah. ask me again. To applause. No, ask me if you can if you can control the sound. Can I control the sound? <laughs> you know, you should have said no first. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> that was good. Ask him again. Ask, ask him again. Can I control the sound now? Oh, God. What in the tarnation? <laughs> How is it? Was it? Oh, man. Okay, ask me again. Hey, Gary. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. That's, that like, really bad. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's the one we were laughing about. No, like... okay. So, we, I, uh, we took to Instagram. Oh, and yeah. ask some people some questions. A lot of oh, one yeah. of the main questions that came up, and I think this would be a good one to start with, is why did we make a podcast to begin with? We were on PS4, and Wes said, "It goes start a podcast." Oh, wow. was that really? I don't. Is even... that really? A... I thought I it was really, your idea. I, 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 yeah, I thought it was your idea. idea. No, yeah, it was. I, I thought it was, it was me. Oh. You said it. Okay. I said, but Gary is the one who. Got I said it. I'm it like... down. And then, and then Gary is the one who pushed. Yeah, Gary is yeah, the one who pushed, pushed for it. Because yeah, I heard you say it first. was Wes's idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, I appreciate. It. I was like, oh yeah, dark podcast. Wes planted it. Yeah. And said, Gary, oh, Gary, Gary watered. It. Yeah, Gary, Gary watered. <laughs> and but, then it happened. Uh, God provided the increase. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So, because all I do is really listen to podcasts because I was commuting so much. So I was like, dude, let's just do it. Just listen. And then it took like four weeks to get Wes to buy the mic. Oh man. It literally. He ended up buying it before me. You didn't tell me. I, hey, it was like Happy New Year. Also, <laughs> yeah. oh, you had it the whole time. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, yeah, I had it, but I kind of asked for it. Mm. So they were like, okay, like, oh, cool, New Year's. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys listen to other podcasts? Yeah, I do. Yeah. 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 What do you guys listen to? Oh, uh, I'm Joe Rogan all day. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan podcast Joe Rogan all day. day. I try um, to to Joe Rogan. Uh, there was this one like japanese like fashion and culture podcast i was listening to but they don't really make consistent episodes do they speak no. japanese uh-uh it's a black guy oh, oh. yeah oh. he does japanese fashion he lives in japan yeah he okay. speaks japanese he's dope that's cool yeah. oh, the casual like me oh uh, i listen to a lot of like gaming podcasts just because yeah whatever whatever pops up yeah I, I don't listen to any podcast <laughs> Oh okay, that's that's fair. The only one I really listen to is Achievement Hunter. They're part of Rooster Teeth. They oh, made like mm-hmm. Red versus Blue. Oh and yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, they're the only ones I really keep up with. Achievement mm-hmm. Hunter. Did they still were they the ones that used to do those like Halo montages? Yeah. Yeah. Like where Red they make the blue. level and they try to beat it. Yeah. Oh, Dude, okay. oh my god! I used to watch those for hours. Like, they would make a level in the level editor, and then they. Or people would make levels in the level editor, submit it to Achievement Hunter, and then they would try to solve it or so, beat it. Or like a race course, and then you do the Warthog, and you yep. drive through and complete exactly. it. Exactly. 
I used to watch that like every day after school. I didn't even watch anything else. Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth. No. The oh, that. Rooster, Rooster Teeth, Teeth is oh. like part. That's like the parent company. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then they made like a subdivision for like just gaming and stuff because it was and it's called Achievement Hunter because they just try to get as much achievements in all the games or yeah. they like showcase all these like indie games and like mm-hmm. just cool games in general. They used to do weekly update updates for for gaming. But oh, the news, right? What yeah. was it? It was called Awu. Awu. Oh, what what did it stand for? Achieve- Achievement Hunter okay. weekly update. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Awu. Awu. Achievement Hunter. We do oh, I used to watch that. Okay. I was like, "Where's the W?" What is it? Does Gus is Gus the one who does it? The dude uh, with the beard that does the podcast. Yeah. No, it's uh pretty much that? Michael who leads it. Michael, the one okay, who Michael. rage quit all the time. Oh, that, the rage he was quit so guy. funny. Yeah. I remember Michael. Oh, he he became famous because of that. Because he, he would have a rage like he's he calmed down a lot. <laughs> you can only be angry for so many years. Yeah. He right? did. He did a quap. <laughs> The quap, yeah. the game with the, oh, the running guy, yeah, the yeah. Running game. Gavin, that yeah. one made me laugh so hard. Dude, quap, yeah. I run like that. Oh. <laughs> Only podcast I listen to is Megan Batoon's podcast, mm. just because I like Megan Batoon. Megan, Megan Batoon, yeah. um, and then also a basketball podcast called No Dunks, um, which I think is an interesting one, and just in case for our situation, because it's Good. also five guys. Oh. And it's 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 pretty cool because they're really funny, mm. but they talk about uh, basketball all the time. Obviously. Only, not I mean, only. Like, That's like their main topic, but then they they also bring up like, you know, oh pop culture stuff, and then they have this sec- uh, segment called um, Rapid Fire, well where they'll take something from the basketball world or, world or even, oh my gosh, <laughs> Aaron is showing an old picture of his family to me right now. Yeah. Anyways. Um, but yeah, they bring up like things from pop culture or the basketball world, and then make it into a different question to ask the other people, mm. and they answer it. So like they don't only talk about basketball, but it's the main, it is the main thing they That's talk right. about. Basketball. So let's talk about basketball. I'm just kidding. I yeah, have, I have I so much that. to say. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. too much. I, I can't. It's overwhelming. I'm sorry. The Kings are gonna do it <laughs> next season. <laughs> next season. <laughs> next season. <laughs> next season. Hey. Ouch. Um, okay, another question another a lot of people are asking is why the name Samurai Nighttime? Oh, this is a Milky Lab. <laughs> yeah, this is a Milky Lab. I just put in everybody's yeah. name in a Wu Tang name generator because we're all Childish Gambino fans. Yeah, yes. but he that's put. True. Yeah, I messed up twice. Whose name did you put twice? Your, Your name. name, yeah. So that's one mistake. I put Gary's name twice and I didn't put Wes's name. <laughs> oh, oh that's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> the second mistake was that's it wasn't the same, it wasn't the right website. Because there oh. is a specific website that Donald Glover used to mm. get Childish Gambino. I realized it because in the site that I did use, I did put Donald Glover's name, and it didn't give me Childish oh. Gambino. I was like, wait, this is not the this right site. Right. Oh, well. But when I read it, we were all together, including with a bunch of our friends. And when I said, oh, Samurai Nighttime, everyone seemed to like it. Yeah, that's... And I'm sure we could make it twist it somehow to make it like make more sense. Sam- right. We're recording it at nighttime. <laughs> no. And then I'm gonna bring my samurai swords. Ooh. Oh. Oh, and that logo. Ooh, the logo. Because we're logo. we're guarding. That's why. <laughs> it makes sense. No. Lance, did you notice um the logo? The logo. Yeah. Do you saw it? It looks right? familiar. I don't it know. It looks very familiar. It looks cool. It has samurai sword. Yeah. 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 Who's samurai sword? Uh, samurai. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. yeah. Be careful uh, if you're driving behind Lance. If you rear end him and you make him angry, <laughs> yeah, he'll pop the trunk on you. Uh, he got three samurai trunk? swords. No, 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 no it's, it's not, not anymore, right? No, 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 no. It used to be legal. It's a prank. Yeah. Oh. It's a metaphor. It's a, <laughs> a, a, metaphor. Metaphor. Or, it's a prank. Is what. You get you did good on the. Uh, We're going with. Oh, well, thank you. Props to Gary for. Cho- uh, I I like the color wave that you chose. Yeah. Or that curious. you played with. Dude, I, yeah. I literally just f- told you to look at the palette. I, I just know. smashed space bar over and over. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I like that one. I know, but the, I don't know the one that uh, we so put it as the uh, picture profile picture and also for the promo for last episode, mm. and I just really like that that color scheme. That's good. He likes that. So There's like, like a weird thing with blue and orange because every movie poster uses blue and orange. There's a lot of things where like color psychology. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I learned all about it in digital design, but I forgot all about it. <laughs> red. Red, red and blue. Red invokes a lot of hunger. 
Yeah. That's why every fast food lo- uh, logo has, has some, some sort some of red. red. Except <coughs> Taco <coughs> Bell. <coughs> because they're good. Oh. No, no they, they <laughs> have that, red and Lies. yellow. They do have red, like, in some... Yeah, well, no, they do have red. Gary, look at your bag right now. Yeah. They have red on it. Oh, it does. Good uh, it's like a hot pink... Yeah. It's like a, it's like a scarlet. But the, oh <laughs> but the scarlet? logo, I think the logo on the building is red, the bell, if I'm not mistaken. Is no, it? I don't think so. Oh. Yeah. Are you calling mine too? Maybe. <laughs> Dude, no. oh, one no, can no. argue on the bag. On the bag, it's like a, like an infrared or something. One can argue that purple is a shade of red. Bro, uh, <laughs> I see, I get it co- Wes, confused what's more. Your with, <laughs> I get it more confused purple with is like a shade blue. Of red is a shade of blue. Is a shade yeah. of. Yeah. It's a shade of both because it's them together. Yeah, really? It's, I, uh, I blue see and red more, make red. Or I, blue and red make purple. Red. I see it more blue than I do red. Though. I agree, but, but still, I'm trying to prove my point. Yeah, lucky red and blue are both primary colors. Yes. Yeah. Oh, can can you put ding 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 ding? Who wins? Burr, 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 burr. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I know I'm wrong. Oh, I'm yeah. just really trying <laughs> to yeah. just. <laughs> Dude, just I know if, I'm wrong, so I'm trying to make myself right. Just argue it. Just keep arguing. Don't back down. You have to fake it till you make it. Sometimes, yeah. Big facts. Who is expecting me? It's a bunch of it's um. My gosh, nice. All right. So, uh, what do you, or we, but maybe you, maybe. what are your goals with this podcast? What do you expect from this? Hey, Ooh. Raid Shadow Legends, run that. Chat, <laughs> Honestly, until we get a sponsor, that's the, that's the goal. No, 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 right no, 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 no. The first goal, I don't care what happens after that. We gotta get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, oh, and then never God. play it. Oh what? <laughs> Dang. Uh, just I'll make my brother. I'll, it's never gonna happen. Yeah, record my brother. Just yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a joke, bro. Like everybody gets, everybody, everybody gets sponsored is. by Raid Shadow Legends, and they never play it. No one talks about. Oh, I thought how... you meant never play the sponsorship. The oh. oh no, no, <laughs> the game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dunks. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure half of the people who are who are sponsored don't play it. No, is, they don't play they that don't. thing. What is it, Lance? For, for those who don't know, what, what is Lance Raid, raised Raid his hand Shadow... to speak because we're in school. Yeah, what is it? What's what is Rage Shadow Legend? Okay, let's talk about that when we get sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> we're not giving them free yeah. advertising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, if, if, we're, not, we're not gonna talk. In about order it. for me to answer that, I have to do the drop. Yeah, for we, us we alone, saying it. the name, we gave them free advertising. Yeah, yeah. So let's, yeah. Okay, everybody, okay. check out Rage Shadow Are Legends to see that it sucks. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! It's just we'll cut that out. Whoa! Until we get sponsored. So we got to check out Rich to see that it it's great. Yeah. Oh no. Phone call. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let me okay. step up. Thanks. All right. Yeah. So. Oh, I'll just oh take no. Picture, by the way. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. If you you want to get to go on Gary's mic for the time being. Yeah, 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 sure. Go for sure. it. If you have some questions or. No, I just want to just sit here. <laughs> what is this? I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay, but yeah. So, do we have any more questions that we can talk about? Uh, what is it? Well, goals? we didn't answer this question. What do you have any goals for this podcast, or what do you expect? Are we just having I mean, fun? I, or? I just think of it as fun. Just, you know, whatever, just whatever happens with this podcast, you know, yeah, it'd be awesome. Be cool. Yeah, something um, to listen to. Do we want to put it more than just YouTube? Eventually, I kind of do because I I like having to lock my phone. Right. Yeah. Because on YouTube, you have to keep you it have open. to keep it open. It drains your battery and everything. Yeah. Oh, oh man, yeah, Lance didn't get to use it at all. I just said that. Wow. He's just keeping it warm for Gary's you. back yeah. already, for those who can't see us. That was an imposter! Well, he actually it. didn't even speak on it yet. Yeah. Oh, he didn't have I lied. He said, I was just breathing <laughs> into it. That's it. Because I'm afraid my voice will sound different. It will. Yeah. yeah. So, Gary, what did, what, uh, oh, yeah. do you have any actual goals with this part, or what do you expect? Oh, for it? I don't know. Let's just keep... Uh... As we produce more episodes, I think we'll have a better idea, but I just wanted to create mm. something. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, I think eventually we'll have an identity. Original content. And, like, because uh, I think <laughs> I think what you were saying, like, a format. Yeah, we should. Like, maybe like we, we should could have, have sp- segments yeah. every so often. Like, a, like, there's a specific segment for... Oh, I mean, yeah, we can. I like the... The reason why I like Joe Rogan's podcast is it's more of a conversation. Mm. And he doesn't come in with prepared questions. Oh, yeah. he literally just talks to people, but he knows something about them, so they just like go off the rails on like whatever. He goes with what he knows. Yeah, we I mean, can still do that. I mean, but it's it's nice to have like a format. 
just to like, make sure like, literally we don't need to have I, like I don't detail because right I have some notes but I don't have like okay from this minute to this minute we're gonna talk about this <laughs> because I know like, some perfect. podcasts like uh uh like there's this YouTuber who does who does like basic streetwear stuff Richie Lee who does podcasts and his his podcast is called not a podcast but he literally just does like timed segments because they keep their podcast really short oh mm. but that's not what i want but it works obviously it works for him but i'm just saying there's there's different styles and that's just the one i don't want no yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, I agree i, like, I wouldn't it. want that either i just have notes just to make sure that like if there's flows. something yeah it, but like, i still like richie lee oh well. i just want to make that clear <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't come after you yeah, yeah, yeah. he won't come after him. he's a nice guy oh. yeah. he's not we gonna get, hear this we also have <laughs> special guests coming yeah like lance i mean yeah yeah um my boy wenzel wenzel yeah wenzel he was like he saw that we were doing stuff with the podcast from concord yeah and then i was like dude you want to why don't you just join us he's like i'm done nice dude let's go he's a techie guy he goes to um i forgot i keep forgetting the name of the school but it's one of those schools where it's like programming like all the way in mm-hmm. for like two and a half years or something or and then it's a program or it's like programming no, oh, I mean, no it's, it's, a, a, it's a program. That's oh, what I mean. it's a I didn't pro, know but name. you oh, get a bachelor's at the end. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's, good. it's one of those oh, new types of schools where it's like you go to school, no you learn all the skills you need to program, and then after that, you're basically if you don't get a job, like you don't have to pay. No, oh. right, time to do that. <laughs> oh, they they do that like where you if you when you get that job, they'll pay for your tuition and everything. No, 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 no. When you the school and its program are set up to get you a job in tech or like programming. So when you do get, so you don't pay any tuition up front. When you do get the job, you pay a percentage back to the school that pays for your education. Mm-hmm. But if you don't get a job within a certain time frame, you don't pay anything. Hmm. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It's a different business model. See, unlike me, I'm a slave. <laughs> I'm a slave. I'm a slave. Ooh, there's a train outside. Okay. Do you have any more any questions? The only other thing that I, I had oh, that I wanted to mention definitely wait. was an update. Because last week we talked about pops. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> I hate myself. And how and how RJ infected. I'm the only I one in this room. Gary, we got to Has us. never purchased a pop you because Lance has a Batman. Yes. Yes. Did you buy um, yours? Yes. Or was it a someone? Gift? Someone Gary. gave it to me. Has See, Lance was just one. Okay. Yet. I'm the only one who doesn't have own one. one. Yeah. Yet. Yeah, I didn't even know Keep it was talking. Tom until like I saw it. <laughs> I, oh. See, Tom from Tom. You, Tom. Yeah, Tom. 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 I want. I almost broke when. Um, Aaron, did you pre-order that day too? I did. Yeah. yeah so I went. I hung out with RJ and Aaron one time. We went to uh, GameStop to check out Pops, and then they looked at the pre-order book, and they both started pre-ordering like. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Drop five did, on all I of them. I did pre-order like maybe like three or something. Like yeah. That. Like, oh I'm looking through the catalog. I'm like, ah, whatever. Then I see like, I don't know, page six. Tom from Toonami. And I was like, oh, yeah. That was the newest version of Tom too, though, right? Because I remember the original. And I don't think it looked like that. The ori- the white one? Yeah, he yeah. was white. He looked no, more... so the one, it was the second one. The, so there's oh, the, okay. the white one. And then there was the like Ooh. slim... Like gray one, and then there was like a bulky gray yeah, one. Yeah, okay. And then there's the one with the one. face. The f- Ooh, is there one with like the face? With the eyeballs. And... Oh, I don't like that. No. You didn't see that? He had I like a. That. He had like I, a I don't remember seeing it, but that sounds weird. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it. The so one the, that the it pop- was the second one. Is it the slim one? Yeah. Because I, I th- when I looked at the picture of it, it looked like he had like a gut. I mean, don't all pops have a gut? Not really. Dang. All right. So well, let's just let's just look it up. So Gary's gonna get one now. No. I almost if I did that day, then we would have had a different conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I was able to resist. Wow. Uh, but Wes, yeah. were you able to resist? I wasn't. So what happened was, uh, we were uh, we were just hanging out, and then I was on my laptop, and then RJ, I was looking at figurines yeah. for something else, and then RJ, and then RJ says this website, and I was like, oh, okay, because there's figurines there. I wasn't trying to get him to look <laughs> at pops. Lars. He did oh, that wow. on his own. Yeah, yeah, I was, and then. During that time, I was like, oh, let's see what Pops are about. And then the Evangelion Pops came. They're on pre-order. They're yeah, on pre-order. they were just newly announced. That's why they're available. For oh, warm, warm. Warm. So they're also yeah. toward, they were like towards the front page, right? Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, Evangelion. And I looked at all of them. <laughs> four. Four new ones. Next day, 
<laughs> GameStop. Drop a oh, 20. Drop a 20. Give it all four of them. Drop a 20, pop five on all four of them. <laughs> one oh, of them like... is a six inch. Yeah, so it's a big one. But not the 10. No, not the 10. Oh, okay. That would have been even more expensive. I was wrong. The, uh, the, t- the Tom from Toonami Pop is the first Tom. Is it? Yeah. Oh, man. It's, huh? it's silver with... He does have a gut and the radioactive uh, symbol. I just don't so remember him looking like that. Yeah. I'm not buying that it. That you need the first Tom. Tom. Yeah. No. So you're going to get all that, of them now. That's what I heard. No, I'm not getting it. <laughs> no. Why? Why? <laughs> so I, get... I believe you, Gary, what he's saying. I'm uh, not getting it. So we'll get you it. I'll get it for you, yeah. yeah. I'll get it for you. I have no shame in receiving one. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's yeah. all it takes. Because that's pretty much how RJ got me. <laughs> hey, the first hit's oh, free. Oh, I did give you some. The that's first what happened. Free. Oh. That's what my brother said, too. That's what Kuya said. He said, the be- the easiest way to get someone into it is to gift them some yeah. first. Oh, you know what's like, funny? I already had like five, but then you gave me like eight. I gave you a whole set of Walking Dead that I yeah. had. Oh, Last Wednesday, I was um, I was chilling at the mall by myself because I had returned the lightsaber. Oh, right. Finally returned the lightsaber, and I was eating a McFlurry alone. Dude, the mall was like dead. And then this guy walks up to me, and he's like, I love your podcast. I was like, oh, my oh. God. <laughs> It was Rome. Uh, oh, yeah. oh. Whoa. and uh, Omri and Riker, and oh, then I, yeah, because yeah, he brought them to the jumping. Right, right, thing. yeah. And then he was telling me like, yeah, I was listening to your podcast, and uh, yeah, RJ caught up to me and like surpassed me in the amount of pops that I had in <laughs> a true. year. In a year, it's true. In a year, oh, yeah, only goodness. a year, not even a full year passed by, and I had more than him. Yeah, and he'd been. It I don't know how bad. long he'd been doing it. But he he'd been, been he was doing it, it for like at least maybe two years. Yeah, maybe more. But oh, that reminds me because when when I did hear him listening to the podcast, um, so he had it on his phone, and you know how it's YouTube, it has to keep it open. So yeah. I was looking mm-hmm. at the thumbnail, and Riker runs up to it. Riker is my three-year-old nephew, by the way, guys. He runs up to the phone and says, That's Kuya Gary! Hey. He goes, Hi, Kuya Gary! <laughs> I love you, Kuya Gary! Kuya Gary's my friend! Oh. oh, wow. You know, like, two weeks ago, he switched up because he was like, uh, Rome was like, Who's that? Pointing at me, and then Riker goes, I can't know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that. It's like that. You, well, you act you different. Oh, you was you was three and a few weeks. Now you three in a month. It's now like you want that. a podcast. He's like, oh, he's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, Riker's gonna be a cloud friends? chaser. Oh, my God. Riker's a cloud chaser. <laughs> <laughs> man, <laughs> don't no. Oh, oh Riker. But still, oh, love but still back love to us. Why? Why? Huh? What's okay? I don't know if you want to share this, but. Why Evangelion? Like, why is that so... What? Do I want to... That's up to you. Oh, well, I don't want to make you say anything. Okay, so to. Evangelion is like... It makes you think really deep. It's very about, philosophical. Isn't it, it really is. Yeah. And I was like, wow. This got real deep. And then... And then... I, yeah. And you then, just have like a... I guess emotional connection to it? Yeah, like... I love Evangelion. And like... Would I watch it again? No. But... <laughs> oh, I was going like, to ask you. How many good. times did you watch it? I, Probably like twice. Like did once you, a long time ago. Did you hear about the issues with the Netflix? Uh, I think it was the Netflix. Oh, is it on Netflix? Resub- yeah. Wait, what happened? The way they resubtitled or dubbed it. I don't. Know, I don't remember which one. But something happened in the translation where the relationships were changed, where they were originally romantic, and they became like platonic. Really? Oh, well, I. I don't know. A lot of people were upset because oh. like a lot of a lot of that is part of making you think. Mm. Like, isn't there? There's like a couple in there. They're supposed to be. Yeah, supposed okay. To, it's supposed to be like a lesbian couple or whatever. Or yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I, we can edit that out. Yeah, when, I, <laughs> when I watched it, I didn't. I didn't. The the because I watched it like a long time ago, and then I didn't really pay attention that much because I was into a lot of other anime. But mm-hmm. when I rewatched it, yeah, it, it it still made me think. But you know, I got it more as an adult than I did as a. Oh, that makes team. sense, though. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those. Yeah. Do you guys do that with a lot of the movies you watched as a child? You mm-hmm. go back and rewatch it when you're older. Oh, and I understand. understand yeah, it makes Bro, I did that sense. with SpongeBob. <laughs> with SpongeBob? Really? SpongeBob? Yeah, dude. There's a lot of the movie? Or no, just no, in general. general. Any episode. Oh. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, dirty jokes in there. Yeah, they snuck them in. You yeah. understand Squidward so much more. Because <laughs> you oh. became Squidward. Yeah. Oh, man. Not yet. Your job. Squidward. You hate everybody who's so happy. Mm. <laughs> oh, he is super jaded. Yeah, <laughs> he's a weenie hot junior. Weenie hot, super weenie hot junior. How tough am I? 
<laughs> Not a bowl of nails for breakfast. Without any milk. Oh, right, right away. <laughs> Come right in. Yeah. yeah. How you doing, Lance? Yeah. Lance is good. I, Lance um, stretching. Sent to the thing. Good. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh man. It got quiet. It got what? quiet. So I All just eyes on stretching. you. Uh, <laughs> All eyes on you. Oh, Lance, what about that? you? What about know. me? What about you? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. No, because last last episode you didn't talk much. Yeah, because like, like I didn't want to speak up like this, so I just let you guys talk. You yeah, you should. Speak here's up. what Lance said last time, right? I have a catch-up story. Oh yeah. Oh no. We're, I did the same thing. This up. <laughs> that, that really was it, though. That's it. Uh, no, no, it's good. No. Yeah. This is why Lance should be the soundboard guy. Yeah. Do 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 do. No. I gotta hold that in. Mm. It's not funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, there were some people who, ever since last week, um, like gave us some things to talk about. Mm-mm. So again, from our good friend Julian, this one's a tough question. I think it's one you have to think about, kind of. If you were stranded on an island. Seven. Or- Oh. With no entertainment except for a portable CD player, headphones, and three albums. What three albums? A would portable be? CD wait, wait, player? Yeah, like a wait, CD player. A he didn't be like that. A portable you couldn't even CD give me an MP3 player. player? No, 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 no. Three, because yeah. you have albums. Just yeah, albums. yeah. So three CDs. How many batteries do I get? Well, let's just let's say. Uh, yeah. What three albums would you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's no, no, not no, 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 think about the this logistics too hard. Are important. Oh, We're on an island. Because if I run out of battery, I want to go out on the best one. Okay, it's solar powered. Okay, that's fine. There oh, you there you go. Nice. So Good save. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. That's a weird save. Anybody? That is a weird, Three albums? Yeah. Three albums I would have... Sorry. So basically, what are your three albums you would die on an island for? I guess. Or like, uh, I, yeah. if you if you could only listen to three for the rest of your life, what would it be? Yeah, on, on the island for the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's kind of tough. It's, that is tough. I have too many albums. Exactly. Uh, Give me a second. Okay. One album would, for me would... Definitely have to be a Childish Gambino album. Oh, I agree. I think that would be my. I think uh, I know which one for me also. I'm ooh. afraid we're gonna have the same answer. <laughs> what is it? Man, now I'm thinking. Like, mine, if it was, I because I do think a Childish Gambino one. Mine would mm. probably be be Camp. Camp. Ugh! See, I knew yeah. it. I knew we oh have the same God. one. Camp's a good one. But though. Camp like, has like a special place for me. Yeah. Because one, it's a Childish Gambino album, and second. It was the first CD I bought for myself oh, when I started oh. working. Oh, nice. Like, I pre-ordered oh, it and everything. Wow. It was, like, my first one, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Special place in my heart. I'm trying to remember. Uh, my friend gave me camp for my birthday in high school. Oh, wow. Yeah. But oh, my yeah. first... The first album I ever bought was Usher's Confessions. I bought Ooh, it twice. That was actually mine, too, bro. I bought it twice. Like with my actual money. I didn't have any money, but oh, I, that's know, the first know. one I bought with my. Here's twenty dollars. All right, I'm about. <laughs> Dude, that actually might be Does one of my other ones too. Yeah, Dude, so I bought confessions, confessions, and then he released the deluxe version. So you know, I got it again. Nice. Mm-hmm. And then it went. I went like several years after that, and then the next album I bought was uh, because of internet. Because because mm-hmm. the, I like the I had camp already mm-hmm. because my friend gave it to me, but I bought because of internet mainly because. Well, one, I was driving a CD player car back oh, then, yeah. but the hologram oh, yeah, yeah, was dope. Yeah. And it wasn't a, not a hologram, it's called something else. Holograph? No, there's a... Ho- it's just holographic, right? No, because it's not just that it's shiny, it moves. Right, right. So it's a motion sort of... Oh, yeah, I know. oh it's like... And yeah. it's like... Oh, I hate that sound. And it keeps going back. Oh, you hate that? Like, I really don't like that sound. I hate it so much. What? Oh, when you that's, when that's, you rub it? Yeah, just one thinking one about one. it makes my skin crawl. <laughs> that's my nails oh. on a chalkboard right Oh, here. I see. What? Oh, my Are nails? You about oh, never mind. That's not you know, you know those like really tiny lines yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, And you scratch. I do that oh, all the time. Oh, no. That's what I'm saying. I don't yeah, like the sound cool. nor the feel. Really? All right, we'll Ooh. get out. I'm, uh, uh, huh? What? what? Sorry? Oh, man. Oh. But yeah, this is the internet would probably be one of mine. That's a I remember too. I like, I think I like camp more. Do you guys remember yeah, this, like the remember. was it the screenplay? Dude, the screenplay did, I, did I not? You, oh, the screenplay. You that to me. That, yeah, he brought it to me. It was oh so gosh, cool. That was I was so on cool. a hunt. So when yeah. because the internet <laughs> came out, <laughs> oh the secret song. No, 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 no. He yeah he dropped a screenplay with the <laughs> with the album yeah. to yeah. accompany the whole narrative of yeah, this the album yeah. or the narrative of the screenplay and the 
It was almost basic like story album. of the album yeah. were very interconnected. Was it like the album was the soundtrack to a movie? Sort of, yeah. Kind, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, think so. so. It was because cool. I didn't read the screenplay. Dude, it was, it was cool. Like, so, I'm not saying it was like the best screenplay ever in my life, no, yeah, but just the fact that. that I had this whole experience of listening to an album getting an idea of the story of the character in the album and then having a screenplay with it getting more visuals because he put small clips yeah of himself in it that was cool and then the coolest part was when he uh he stuck like a a missing track in oh. the screenplay mm -hmm. he uh so in the album it was in order and then like in the middle of the album uh according to the screenplay there's supposed to be another song but it wasn't there so people were like scrambling to figure out how to get it so they were looking through all the HTML code in the website itself or like looking on his Twitter. They were really trying to find anything to figure out what this extra song was. And then I think a year later, he dropped the Stone Mountain and Kawhi EP. Yeah, uh, yeah mixtape and EP. There's an instrumental on Kawhi that's no words, but it's a remix to 3005. And then when that came out, somebody, a lot of people think it was Gambino himself, but a lot of people, this is what a lot of people think, but there was a secret track of just the lyrics in the website somewhere that was posted mm. on reddit that's crazy and then so someone put both together and they literally it makes wow. layered together it and so you're supposed cool. to he's like so yeah ahead of his time like yeah. even though it's like right now basically mm. he's so yeah. creative yeah wow. it was it was dope because then you stuck it into the album track list and it's, it works it fits it's it's so cool because i think how much time in between because the internet and it was a year year oh, was it, was it was a year, year and a half 2013 Still. because the internet 2014 Stone mountain and Kawhi. because yeah, that that's at right. that time he was doing yearly releases mm. yeah oh that was good i missed that good times yeah. those were good time. times how, how long since redbone that was awaken my love is probably what 2017 yeah dang three years yeah that's crazy. yeah wasn't the hell oh, man Totally changed too. Yeah, he did drop an EP after that, which is the summertime. Summertime. Oh right, right, right. right or summer right, right, love right, right, right. or something. Uh, feels, I like it. It feels like summer. Feels like it, summer. You like, well, it, it had two songs. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's all good. Yeah. He performed a new song on SNL like a year or two ago, and I'm like, where's that CD version of it, bro? CDQ. I feel like uh, isn't it Saturday? I thought the last time I remember him singing on Saturday Night Live, he was singing, "Me and Your Mama" or something like that. So he sang Redbone. Oh. Minya Mama. Is that the one with the disco ball pants? <laughs> disco. disco ball pants. Dude, he, it's dope. So he he literally shirtless, no oh. shoes, with these like shiny, oh, silvery. Oh, when he was on Saturday Night Live? Yeah, when yes, he was saying Redbone. Yeah, that's what I remember. That's where he sang Redbone. And then oh, the no. other song he sang was a song that hasn't released yet. Oh, Three oh I didn't even make my albums yet. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Trying to I, see, I read it earlier, and I told you about it, Wes. Uh -huh. I had my three, but I don't know for sure. Yeah. But the first three that came to my mind was Childish Game Me No Camp. Um, are we okay? Are we cheating and doing like greatest hits album kind of things, like a uh, collection of? Flux? Would you? Would you count? No. I mean, no. I would though. Okay, no. I, I, no. I was gonna say those are those. That's not an actual body of works. They, that was just. Okay. Hey, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Why? Who's, use it. Whose greatest hits would you put on? Eminem. Curtain Call. Probably. No. Oh, Curtain Call was... A, I don't know anything about Eminem. Curtain yeah. Call is a greatest hits compilation? I think it's I think it's called Curtain Call. Bro, you wouldn't I put... Um, was, album that was it? Was it? There's one that's revival? just like... Um, encore? No, what's the no, one uh, before encore Kamikaze? Oh, uh, oh, um... Yeah. Revival? Dude, revival. You, don't want, you don't want that one, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you don't he want hates it. One? He hates it so much. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he always says he took an L on that. But he always says that. So there's a lot of times where he like he said like a lot of people didn't like uh, the one before recovery the relapse, a lot of people said yeah. that they didn't like that one. I, I think remember, it was relapse. I remember hearing about yeah. that one. And then the net following album, he was like, yeah, oh encore, yeah, that's the greatest hits one. So going back and going reverse order, Kamikaze, Revival, Recovery, Encore came out. We oh, no, Marshall Mathers LP too. Oh yeah, you're right. Where is that? That was 2013. Yeah, that oh man, twenty thirteen was a crazy year in uh, rap music. Gambino, Kanye, Kendrick, Eminem, Drake. Which one? You remember? No, I was just kidding. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, All right, Lance. Lance, Lance knows. So Lance you know, knows Lance, you know, Lance knows a lot about um, 
hip hop. Yeah, last go, ahead, go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which which one? What three albums? Science. Okay. Well, everyone's Are we going to the like the first? Because you guys talked about the first album. You guys. We just mentioned them. We were just no, talking no, about. You want to just tell your story? I want to mention my first. Lance, tell your story. My first album that I got as a kid, high school, was Chingy. Nice. Oh, Holiday wow. Inn. That Holiday Inn nice. right there. I don't know why. Right there. I just. I went to Walmart. He was. He, he had an album, and I was like, "I want this album." So I went home. Chingy. Hey, so Chingy. many, so yes. many words. <laughs> so many what? <laughs> so many words. Because um, I don't know how I got the explicit version. Because Walmart doesn't sell explicit versions. I don't. I think back then, yeah, back then, yeah, back then, it, it, oh, yeah. you know, I remember the album that caused it. I think, I think it was Black Eyed Peas. Uh, Ella Funk. Ella Funk. Really? Because oh. of it didn't. Uh, let's get it. Let's get retarded. Oh yeah. Hey, you can't say that. that. Yeah. Let's get it started. Let's That's started. the one that got it started. I yeah. Think. Oh. Yeah. Because so... I remember. I remember because my mom worked at Walmart, so I'd always go there after school, oh, nice. and I saw it, and that's when I first started seeing the, the different versions and stuff. Oh. And I think I remember reading about it. The yeah. first album that I owned, not necessarily that I bought, was uh, Backstreet Boys Millennium. Millennium. <laughs> oh, I had the cassette. I had the cassette too. Did you have the hit clips? Remember I don't know. hit clips? I was like, bro, I was like four. Dang. This is. Wait, when did that come out? Uh, 2000? Two, Probably 2000. 2000. So I was really young. Right. There was so this, I didn't. I didn't they do you had, remember it though? Yeah. They had this, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. They had this like, what's the, the VHS thing? They sold it at um, Burger King for some reason. Oh, yeah. You yeah, could yeah. get like a Backstreet Boys thing. Yeah. Dude, oh, no, great. I remember that. You remember Dude, that? I remember um, being at a Burger King one time and they had a TV. And they were playing it, uh, dude. Like, right? It was like behind yeah. the scenes stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah I remember it. So, yeah, I really do. I don't uh, know. It why. came with uh, like Britney Spears and NSYNC too. I think. So. Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that one. Oh, I okay. remember getting. So that, that one was NSYNC Backstreet and Britney Spears Backstreet together. Boys. Backstreet, Backstreet Boys all day. day. Yeah. Backstreet Boys all day. Okay, but, so I think Backstreet Boys was a, was better in terms of vocal talent. Yeah. I, I don't know the difference. All right. Really? Just like really? Fall Out Boy and Panic at the Disco? Dude, Ooh. I still yeah, they, can't. <laughs> it's, like, it's, kind of, it's hard. I only started realizing... That once I, I pointed noticed, it out? Yeah, once. Yeah. That's the only time I really noticed The first time I heard Nine in the Afternoon, I was like, oh, this new Fall Out Boy song is kind of like cheery. <laughs> it's, cheery. it's cheery. It's so cheery. Yeah. Yeah. And you know that's true! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 know, I only... Yeah, that's... Oh, you kind of ruined it for me a little bit, just a tiny yeah. bit. Bro, like, I don't know. I, I mean, for me, it's just more music from the same yeah. Yeah. Like. It sounds, It's still good. I love Fall Out Disco. Fall Out the Disco. disco. Fall out at the Panic at the Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's great. Oh, yeah. oh, man. We're still not answering the question. We're not answering the question. <laughs> okay. It's hard. It's a hard question. Think. Okay, yeah. how about this? Three just artists, then. Oh, oh is that easier? That makes it easier? You guys can't. Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino. Oh, good. yeah. Too. And groups well, count as an artist. That's fine. Groups. <laughs> it just got really yeah. It got, it got wider, and wider. <laughs> more broad. No, no. Yeah, I, I still can't. So, still can't. is it like ever, so Kanye? You said the yeah. group Kanye? counts? So, so yeah. is it a group <laughs> even though they're not together? I say so. Yeah. So oh yeah, yeah. The artists all together. Do you, do you know who I'm getting at here? Huh? Even though they don't make music together Paramore. anymore. I'm oh, just kidding. Lance, <laughs> okay, but we've clarified. Side I'm gonna, <laughs> I know. I'm gonna guess Brockhampton. No. Okay. Only know. because I'm still on an Eminem trip. D12. <laughs> D12. Okay. That's oh cool. man. Respect. Respect. Wait. Uh, who yes, doesn't? You, the way he's staring. Give at me your you, hints again. I feel like you should know. I should. Maybe it's because something that you both have in common. Okay, they were dark before. Oh. Yeah, G unit. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. No, yeah. Terror Squad. Oh, Terror Squad. No, um, oh. no, it's uh, on Future. Yeah. Oh, oh future. that's why you were looking at Gary. Oh, yeah, 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 that makes so, more sense. Gary understands. I do. On Future. Get him on Future. I thought you were going to say, but that's a good pick, is brother. Gary, that's, that's new and old Tyler plus the rest of the group. That, that, that is. That's, that's like, that's like 12 dudes. dudes and Sid. See? <laughs> and then you get the internet on top of that. Gary. And that's one? <laughs> that counts as one? That's me. So that's a lot. Childish, Odd Future. All of Odd Future for me. Um, no, I'm thinking about it. Dang. Oh, Gary? I have a joke when he's done. Okay. Finish that. If, if I guess, right, I have a joke. 
You're, get, you're guessing <laughs> no, the third no. no, I'm not going to guess, but oh, whatever you say next, I have a joke. If, oh, okay. if it works out. If not, then I'm wasting uh, <laughs> podcast time. No, you're, you're, you're filling the air it. because it's thinking. Yeah. Just go, go for it. Go for it. No, I can't, I can't yeah, guess who you're going to say. I'm just going to say that if you guess someone in the realm of what I'm thinking, I have a joke. Kanye. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna say you just like picked all the hottest artists from 2011. Me? Childish Gambino, Odd Future. Yeah. True. I was good someone else. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because uh, that's when they all initially got like Surf. really hot, uh, like initially in the, you know, like a yeah, they just got bigger that was audiences. My peak torrenting year. Bro. Mm. 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 <laughs> never yeah. illegal. I owned a copy. <laughs> wink, uh, wink, yes, wink, I wink. mean, yeah. Yeah. Right. I, think, I think I have my three. I originally had Gambino, but I think I'm going to take him off just so I can make three different genres. Mm. So I can have three different moods. Ooh. The so, Fall Out Boy? No. Oh, Panic at the Disco. Panic at the Disco is one of them. Oh, really? Well, I mean, yeah. Panic I know you want. You guys I love Panic I actually really love Panic at the Disco. Yeah. So Panic, Eminem, and Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Yeah, bro. Yeah, chopping coconuts. Why not in sync? I I do like in sync. I, like I said earlier, though, I think Backstreet Boys has a better sound. Mm. Uh, they were less poppy, although they did have some poppy songs. But I like to compare them to a white version of Boys to Men. Oh, of how their harmonies can work. Yeah. So you don't want Top Ramen, Justin Timberlake? <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> I just listened to that earlier today, actually. Uh, Lance, what's your three? My three. It would be Cali Khalid. Oh, Cali no, Khalid. 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 Why I say Khalid? Yeah, yeah. Khalid. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Khalid. Khalid. None of us are authorities. Because I could listen to him. Like, yeah. I've been listening to him for like a year already. Just straight. Yeah. Ever since I worked, like uh, oh, I've just been yeah. playing it in my car. Oh. Um, Back and forth. Oh, can I guess the last two? Just to guess. I feel, like, it, I feel like uh, I guess I know one. one. Post Malone. Yes, okay. that was the one I was guessing. Oh, Paramore. Paramore. Yeah. <laughs> Not Paramore. Oh, whoa! Really? Oh, okay, who are, who are you and what have you done with Lance? Really? Yeah, this is a toy. Game changer. Okay, I gotta hear that. Yo, uh, Haley Williams is crying. <laughs> yeah. Lance has been a huge uh, Paramore fan. Oh, Airplane yeah. Just crashed yeah. Now. Last no, one? It was gonna be like Neo. Really? Because, Whoa. Uh, yeah. In like a uh, mad. Did not see that. I know. That's. It's because um I have. I don't have Cal- Khalid's uh, album, but I have those two albums in my car. Of uh, in, Neo? In case, yeah, Neo and uh, in my own Post words. Malone. Oh, uh, like, so no matter what, so if you don't have music, you if have... If I don't have music, I, I use those two and in you... my car. Mm. Oh, okay. Those are my... It makes part. sense now, then. Okay. And that, my, that's my like a practical to top three, too, because like, yeah. you don't get tired of those albums. I know you don't get tired of that Post Malone album. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mine's be dancing. Okay, I'm going to have to switch <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Okay, um, so mine would definitely be childish because I I still yeah. that's like I don't listen to a lot of hip hop, but I do listen to childish. Gambino. You're welcome. <laughs> I, yeah, thank you. Gary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I could go off on that for ages. Cartel. Do you guys listen Ooh, to Cartel? Whoa. I listen to a lot of Cartel. Right. When we were doing the white boy bands, bro. Right. 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 That was the one. Right. That was the one you were exactly. like. Cartel. You're like, yeah. I will listen to Cartel any day. <laughs> Dude, Roddy Rich top five all time, bro. Right. And, and then? And then, oh, shoot. I had it, and then I forgot. Daphne Loves Derby. Oh, I haven't oh. heard a lot of them. I like them. They're mellow. I always heard their name, though. Really? I had a lot of friends who liked them. I just, I, like I don't, them. for some reason, I don't remember any songs. Off the top out of here, me. Daphne Loves Derby was just really popular with, like, all the Filipino kids on Tumblr. Dude, they're oh, just, yeah. They're it was weird. Like, they weren't, like, a overtly, like, Asian band or anything? No, the singer was Asian. Yeah, it was Asian, but it wasn't like they wore it on their sleeve. Like oh, AJ yeah. Raphael, yeah, no. Gay Bondock, yeah. Passion, Passion. Yeah. Oh, that's. They're not the same, but like the same. The, at least for me, what I remember is all the people that were like super like like Filipino pride in middle school. They all like those <laughs> same artists at the same time, and they would bring the ukulele to school and play all their songs. Ukulele. Oh boy. I think I have my three based on how much I listen to them and having seen them live before. So it would be childish. I haven't seen them live. Can I guess? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you you probably. Know okay, that. okay. I'm just guess. Okay, so you're gonna keep Childish Gambino in there? Yes. Childish Gambino, Russ Logic. 
No, not refs. Okay. Logic is one. Logic. Logic is. The yeah, that's for sure. Uh, Twenty One Pilots. No. Ooh, no. That's shocking. Yeah, that the disco. Yeah. I thought you were. No. Oh. What, what I'm just saying, you wore a Twenty One Pilots beanie like a lot. Yeah, he does. Yeah. It's, it's, right before we started recording, I made a reference to a Twenty One Pilots song, and he flipped out. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know that you listened to them. I was like, what? And I it's one know, of their older songs. I only know three of their songs. <laughs> Everyone only knows Blurry Face and then To the Press. Oh, I know Blurry Face too. Yeah, see that? See what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. My yeah. third would be John Bellion. Oh! John oh, John oh, yeah! Knew that. yeah. Man, Aaron was trying to put me on John Bellion for like a good because, year. Because like, he has like such a wide range of music. Mm-hmm. He's the low, 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 low guy. Low, low, oh, is that him? That's yeah. what I was thinking in my head. Like, oh, so like, he can go from like singing to rapping to pop poppy songs so like if i'm stuck on the island i have a range of like yeah yeah that's what i'm trying to do logic. too i got a mix of everything with john belly and then childish has a mix of everything too mm. as well mm. all right moving on i like no, no gary gary, gary, gary you have to answer, answer. gary you have to answer all right let me look at my spotify <laughs> okay this is just go right. off your 2019 top five. Ooh. Oh, then it's kanye playboy cardi and uh uh cardi b no. no. Oh, that should have been you. Yeah. Maybe yeah. like two years ago, Lance would have said Cardi B. Oh, that's yeah, right. I always listen to one of her songs. Over oh, and over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Now, I know Kanye for you, Gary, because he's the only person you followed on Twitter. I made, yeah. Twitter thought I was a bot because I made an account <laughs> and I followed him immediately. And then they were like, like please confirm is, your identity. Yeah, yeah. So. Like, this is weird. You're only following one person. You're not following our, our what we're doing here. <laughs> You're breaking the rules. <laughs> I'm inflating. So are you going to stick with those two? So no, because the thing is I... Yeah, I'm a huge Playboy Cardi fan, but I don't know if I would... Forever? You think you'd eventually get tired? Okay. I don't... I'm not even sure. Like, I didn't... Dude, he doesn't even speak English, and I, could, <laughs> I kept listening to his album over and over again. And I'm... Kendrick... <laughs> Kendrick's a good... Kendrick. Pursuit. Dude, I love Kendrick. Ooh, I think another one of mine would be J. Cole. J. Cole. Ooh, Never got Kendrick. into him like that. You said what? I never got into him like that. J. Cole? Yeah, yeah no. I, I have, Same. I don't know. I really like, I really like Cole. Maybe it's because uh, I'm actually an East Coast boy too. And he's true. more of an East Coast style. Oh. Uh, you're from the DMV. Yeah, I am. What's the DMV? You think, D, uh, DMV stands for DC, Maryland, Virginia. Oh, You'd think yeah. I'd love logic. He's from Maryland. Did you know yeah. he's biracial? Did you know he's biracial and he lived in a uh, Section 8 household? But you know he's had people and... doing drugs and yeah. selling drugs you know in his, his house every racist? day? Oh my <laughs> God. Okay, like, maybe like <laughs> three years ago, I would be so offended by you. Two. But, uh, but that's all I he let, says. I let it go. But that's, I'm not talking, like when I choose him, it's not just all the new stuff. Like, oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's still, yeah, I think he's still uh, a great artist. It's just too easy. I don't like his newest stuff, though. It's too easy yes. to make fun of him for that. Yeah. He does it too, though. He I know he does. Of yeah, because obviously. Which is good for him. Honestly. Did you, Aaron, did you listen to Supermarket and um, Confessions of a Deadly Mind? Confessions of a Deadly Mind, I did. I didn't listen to Supermarket, yeah. Dude, so many people this uh, last year were talking about how he dropped like two of the worst albums of the year in the Dang. same year. And I was like, also listen to, no love uh, for Logic. Also listen to Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Also, also listen to it, but I, I'm not overly... Mm-hmm. Are you talking about the song or the album itself? Albums and, and the album in general. Oh, okay. Because there are several songs that I do. Confessions of a... Is it Dangerous? Song, Dangerous Mind. Yeah. Okay. Dangerous Mind. Mm-hmm. The I song is good. Like the it. song... Uh, starts, yeah. In the video, he starts bleeding out of his neck. Oh, yeah. Oh, he just keeps God. rapping. Yeah. 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 <laughs> awesome. So my pro- okay, here's my problem, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I had to choose... Yeah, I think I'd pick. Okay, Con- number one was who? Kanye. It has to be Kanye because that that discography. Oh yeah. Unparalleled. Yeah, can't, yeah. You you can have any opinion you want on him, but he you can't deny that he's. Mm-hmm. An That's artist. an album for everybody. Yeah. He's yeah. an artist. You can hate like seven of his albums, but one of them might you might like. Shucks. All right, I'm gonna go. I probably feel different about this tomorrow. Kanye. Childish Gambino, Juice World. Oh, good list. That's so good. Oh. <laughs> well, you're uh, mad that you didn't think Juice World. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's oh, okay. No, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. All right. One honorable mention. Oh, <laughs> in this island, are we in the same island? 
Yeah, we can just oh, us switch. Together? Oh, we can trade. Oh, we can trade. Oh, we can trade. Oh, that's yeah. smart. <laughs> sure. Let's but then we still have to pick the three. Oh, yeah, man. that's true. Yeah. Gary, when you put me on Juice World, that like changed my whole year. <laughs> like, Dad, I remember. Isn't that your artist of the year? Uh, was that last year? Uh, 2019. 2019. I think it was yours. Uh, it was on somebody's. I saw so many people's stories that I. He was. He was on there, but he was my artist of the year was Russ. Oh, that's and, right. Oh, but, I think he. But he was in like a lot of your. Um, Juice World was in your top album, five. Like top five. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your artist of the decade? It was still Kanye. Well, but the the problem was, I had an account in 2013, but I didn't actually mm, pay right. for it and start using it until 2018. I had a oh yeah yeah we talked about this. yeah so this. it really just took like two years of music because mm-hmm. Kanye happened to have dropped an album 2018 and two albums in 2018 one album in 2019 and then I played it over I played them all a lot and they're all short mm-hmm. okay. so my artist of the decade when the decade ended was Kanye yeah and then Playboy Cardi for whatever reason yeah I think mm-hmm. Russell is my number one because I have a Russ playlist and I would oh, always listen to it when like I play video games and stuff like that it's chill. Artists of the decade, run the jewels. Okay, so we got dude. Oh, yeah, if we had know. five, yeah. run the jewels would be on there. Yeah, same. <laughs> on that, like, yeah. guaranteed top four. <laughs> they don't have a bad song. No, they, mm. don't. No, they don't. Do you listen to Run the Jewels? No. I, I think should. you played some for me when I was. Are you doing what? I know. I need to be put on. So okay, the weird, <laughs> this, the weird thing for me. The weird thing for me about music and movies. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, I honestly feel bad about it sometimes because yeah, I, you should because I make music <laughs> and oh. raps. Oh, but I don't listen to a lot of stuff. Like if I do, it's always the stuff that I just already you stay knew. In your comfort mm. zone. Yeah. I do. I don't really. Well, that. I don't mind listening to new ones. It's not like I'm. You're not gonna look for it. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not gonna look for I, it. If I'm I hear something right on the radio. Or, like, in someone else's car or something like that. Oh, wow, this is cool. But then sometimes I don't, like, make the effort to go look for look it. For it. Dude, I like used to be tangles. really annoying because, uh... Oh, bro, you ever heard of this person? Yeah. You ever heard of this I was. I used to just, like... I don't mind it, but... Like, YouTube, MySpace. <laughs> YouTube, MySpace. Oh, I used to also. I used to do MySpace. And no, like, I would be finding yeah. artists no one ever heard of just so I could... Just so you could be like, oh, yeah. man, you were a hipster, huh? Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, but Gary was like my guy I, for music. I still am, though. though. You were the plug. Yeah, Gary was my guy for music. I gave Wes an iPod full yep. of music. Oh. Yeah. See, the thing... Okay. I think it's just because I like... When I listen to music, I like to sing or rap along. Mm. But when I find new stuff, I don't know the words. Oh, yeah. So I, I also feel that. Effort, it's, so. hard, it's hard to learn new music. Yeah. Because you want to enjoy it, but you also want right. to... Groove and participate. Can I take this moment to say thank you, Julian, for getting us on this topic? Oh, this is yeah. a long topic. We, we've right been now. on this. Thank you, handsome long. Julian. Hey. We Love need to you. get him on the podcast. Oh, yeah. special yeah. guest for next week. Yeah, Do you want me to ask him? Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll Tell ask him. him right now. Yeah. Let us do it. Eventually, maybe they don't even have to come here. We can just, maybe we could work it out to be on the phone call or something. Ooh. No, we want that high quality. Oh, yeah, we want yeah, that yeah, rapport. We want that in person connection. Wow, eye contact. Yeah, like this. Physical contact. What? Uh, Gary's staring down RJ. <laughs> RJ's staring down Gary. The tension is real. Yeah. That was just one question. That was just one. <laughs> that was one question. Oh, that was God. the first question, the first Instagram question I went through. That was that. Yeah. But that thank was also Julian. the first question we got, period. So yeah. Thank Whoa. you, Julian. Julian has been almost like, so far, our number one fan. Dude, in a way, Julian. we're gonna we're gonna get a t-shirt cannon and shoot it at Julian because he was the first one to respond to at least to my mm. story when we posted it last week. He's the first comment on our first YouTube video, first comment on our Instagram page. Instagram, he's on it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna no, we're gonna Thanks, get a t-shirt cannon when we make <laughs> and merch. Shoot it right at his and we're shoot. gonna shoot it right at him. <laughs> Do not fret. Right. Oh, speaking of shoutouts, though, there was one. Uh, answer the sticker. Charlene asked us to shout out Fair Friends. Go Fair Friends. Hey Fair, fair Friends. friends. Hey, What's up, Fair Friends? Fair Shalom friends. Fair Friends. Shalom. No. Fair fair friends. No. Okay. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Let <laughs> <laughs> I me mean, know. Yeah, I'm just going through. So one, uh, I was gonna go in order, but some of them, I think, could be better on its own. Hmm. But Aaron responded to it. Oh, do you want me to read? <laughs> it? No, you just say it. It was oh, your yeah, question. Aaron, okay. That's your question. So my question was. Which Power Rangers theme song went the hardest? Oh, oh no doubt the first one. The first one? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Well, I don't know all of them, honestly, though. What the? 
The, the I think the turbo one. Turbo one. Turbo I don't one. really I remember, remember turbo. A lot. The turbo one's pretty good. Ninjas. I don't know. <laughs> the only one which I didn't know. Say. Which one are you? Huh? Did you know that was Mystic Morgan. Force though? Which one's? M oh, Mystic, Mystic Force. Force. Is that the one? Is that uh, the third? Wait, I can't. That's the one when they were like witches and wizards. But is that the third? Season? Oh, I yeah. actually don't know. No, 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 it's not. So first is Mighty Morphin. Mighty Morphin. Mighty Morphin, but technically Mighty Morphin had like alien rangers also for like a season, which was weird. Yeah. What the heck? And then they had Zeo, so that's the second series. Oh, I thought Turbo Zio? Was Turbo's the, Turbo's the like third so one. Weird. Zeo was short in America, I think. It was weird. Yeah, Zordon. so. It... <laughs> Alpha. Oh, Dude, rangers. for the longest time, I thought Alpha was a girl. Why? Apparently, it's a guy or a boy. I, I mean, it's a robot, I so thought... whatever. Hey, I thought Frieza was a Alpha yeah. woman sometimes. Yeah. I thought Alpha was a Frieza. Was a Frieza. I thought Frieza was a woman Dragon sometimes. Oh, it was yeah. really like. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to tell. Frieza was a, Frieza and Alpha was, are... was a man that didn't go through puberty yet. Uh, <laughs> dude, Frieza was like a yeah, yeah man child. Yeah. Legit. Yeah. Mm. That's I mean. I will destroy the Saiyan! <laughs> <laughs> Is that Frieza or Weevil? <laughs> Same thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's Mighty Morphin, Zeo, Turbo. Zeo? What's after Turbo? Turbo's the cars. Yes. Rescue. Yeah. No, it's later. That's later. That's later. later, right? That's later time, yeah. time rescue. Oh, Ooh, time, time force. force. Time force was cool. With the dinosaurs. Time I thought that was cool. Force. No, time force is when they could stop Chop. time. Yeah. And, they, and then the the, the red ranger from the future came, came back. back. Oh yeah, and they had. Oh. Is that the one rangers. where they had the multiple? Uh, the red ranger together? special. No, no, that's oh, later. Yeah. Later. Oh. Am I mixing up? See, that's what I don't know. So, let me go, I never really followed until I. I think the last one I really, I at least can mem remember a little bit of is Turbo. That's the last one I can really remember. The one I really. So y'all never got back into Power Rangers. I never. I did, did for a little bit because uh, they brought back. back what's his name? Remember SPD. Uh, SPD. Emergency. That they brought back cool Tommy. I like that. What's it? What's his real name? Jason, Jason Lee Thomas. Jason. Something Thomas. Yeah. I don't think it's Thomas. Hold on, I'm about to the Green Ranger. Yeah. They, they brought, brought him back, back to lead in, I think it was yeah. Dino Thunder? Dino Thunder. He was like the, the Black Ranger. Yeah. yeah. He's, but, but, but they kept the continuity. His so name they is actually... Tommy Oliver. Tommy Oliver. Why not? Oh, Jason's the Red Ranger. Jason's the... No. Oh, yeah, you're right. Wait. No, Tommy's oh, yeah, his real name. Different. I mean, Tommy's the name of the... Tommy oh, Oliver's okay. played by... It's played by... It's loading... Jason David Frank. Jason we David Frank. all off. <laughs> I said Jason. Okay. That's okay. all I got. So... It was Mighty Morphin, that was the first one. Then Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. Was that oh, considered wow. a second series? Uh, that one was also weird because they didn't take their helmets off. Like, they were aliens. They were aliens. like at all? Yeah, they were aliens. Oh. But they couldn't prove it, so they kept their helmets off. Bro, they were just taking Japanese footage <laughs> and just dubbing it. I mean, it they did that much. for Mighty Morphin. But, yeah. but only sometimes. Uh, oh, really? If you notice, whenever they jump back. and come back into the frame, huh. it goes from Japanese to, <laughs> to huh. American. Huh. Turbo. Maybe. Then space. space. Okay, I remember space. Because that's the last one with Zordon. Yeah. Zordon. Because <laughs> <laughs> they they kid they kidnap Zordon. How can you After... kidnap Zordon? Oh, good. oh, I forgot. There's an actual body. I always forget. I always, forget. <laughs> I always think it's just a holographic face, like with the paws. How do you I... steal a whole? <laughs> that's what I... I forgot. There's an actual body because I remember the movie. That was weird, yeah. Then Lost Galaxy. Lost Gal Oh, that Light one. Speed Light Rescue. Ooh, I remember Dude, seeing commercials and okay. toys for that. So, oh yeah, their Light Speed Rescue had like McDonald's toys. Yeah, yeah, for yeah real. Uh, oh, Galaxy yeah, was the one where they were like, like knights, that, but, but they were also in space. Is that yeah, the one that had a little space. kid as a ranger? That was actually Turbo. Okay, okay. Yeah, because the kid was the Blue Ranger, and then when he transformed, yeah, because, he became uh, an adult. <laughs> Whoa. What's his name? <laughs> Heard his back. Billy. Yeah, Billy. That wasn't Billy. No, no. No, it was, it was the Asian guy? No, it was Rocky. Rocky got hurt. Rocky. Oh, oh the, the Asian guy that was the Black Ranger in the first one. I don't know. Who are you talking no. about? No. I don't know. I'm mean, talking get... about the little boy from the... In, the in, movie in Turbo. Because he, he ended up becoming a ranger. a ranger. Yeah, because he became a ranger, but then, I guess, what's his name, came back after his back was good. Because they had a Turbo movie. They did. Yeah. I remember that. In the Turbo movie. Who, who was the Blue Ranger? The little boy. Who was the Blue Ranger before the little boy? Rocky. I was Rocky in the first? Was he Mighty Morphin? Yes. Was the he the Black Mighty Ranger? Moose. The movie. He was in the movie, not in the show. Oh. The Asian, oh. Right? Asian dude was Adam. Oh, I thought that was Rocky. Sorry. Yeah, because yeah, that. So first, first season was racist, racist right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because the, the Red Ranger, Ranger and the Green Ranger, they're white dudes. Oh, yeah. They're the leaders. And then uh, 
Yellow was Asian. Yellow, Yellow was Asian, Asian, black was black. black. And, and then, then when they did the second series, series I, think I think they, they made, like, the Native American, American guy, guy, the Red Ranger. That's more racist. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. it, it was less and more at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um... Give and take. Yeah, yeah whatever, you know, whatever. And then, uh... They, oh, but the Black Ranger was the Asian guy in the second season. The same Asian guy from the movie? I, I want to say Asian yes. Because I remember that, yeah. Because yeah. then they made the Blue Ranger... The Blue Ranger was black. Blue, the Blue Later. Ranger was built. In the first No, in the first one. Oh, in the first one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they carried over a lot of them. Because then the Red Turbo Ranger was Tommy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and then the Gold Ranger... Ranger. Oh, yeah, there's a Gold Ranger. Was Jason. There was. The, the black, black and Gold Ranger. Is that Turbo or Zio? I think it was Zio, sorry. Wait. That was Zio. It all, it's all blending together. I don't know, but they're all cool. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, there's a lot. SPD, that's the one where they introduced the Silver Ranger. Right? Was it? That's the yeah, one I think that so. had the Dog Commander. No. And then the, the Red Ranger had... Oh, the sorry. Guys. I meant Lightspeed Rescue. They had special powers. I meant Lightspeed Rescue. Oh, yeah, yeah. SPD. Where they, like, the shape of their, their helmet... Was they like got big and then they went through it and then like their suit yeah. covered them, <laughs> bro. That was that the same one as the train like when it sends their zords like it's like a hammer that hits their zord on a track and it flies to off the... the track. Yeah, is that the same into one? the sky? Yeah, I don't know. For the longest know. time, I didn't realize that zords like mega zords were just dudes in costumes. <laughs> That's how they filmed it. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense like now. Because they yeah. do the power perspective. Like, yeah, they get all the pieces in as like machines or whatever, and yeah. they look huge. And then when they assemble, it looks like a giant. The final form is just a dude. Yeah, it's just like uh, as the pieces are coming together, it looks like a giant, like the toy itself. And mm-hmm. then when it poses and moves, I didn't even realize it's a guy underneath in the suit. Yeah, it's a guy in a suit. And yeah. then when he fights the monster and it's all big, it's another guy in a suit. Yeah, I never realized that, dude. That's so stupid. <laughs> That's how they did the whole Godzilla movies. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Wait, so when when did you realize this? Dude, I think I was like I think I was like seventeen. No. Oh my I think, <laughs> so, I think, I, I, so like, I think it's obvious I when you think really about late. it. Like, wait a minute. I think it's obvious when you think about it, but that's the thing, you don't think about it. Yeah. When I was a kid, no, I didn't no, think about okay. it because I was just so Sword shocked. Bruce? Because every time they would fight and like let's say they lost. Remember like the, the monster would hit the megazord and then they'd like uh, and then sparks would fly and then everything <laughs> catches on fire. They would all jump out. Oh, and then they'd land on the ground. Oh, like, oh right, right. Oh, uh, yeah. And then they'd they'd, they'd be like, uh, like anime pain. <laughs> okay, so like, strong. Oh, I, no, this is <laughs> just a question that I've noticed. Why is it when every time an actor is pretending to be hurt, why do they cough? Have you ever noticed that? <coughs> they, 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 <coughs> you, I don't know. Like why? Do, why do you all of a sudden have a sore throat? They're supposed to be coughing up blood. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, they, internal if, if they do, that makes sense then. But like otherwise, they when they pretend they're hurt, they cough. It makes <laughs> sense in strong. it makes sense in Power Rangers because yeah. every time they got Not, slashed across the chest, sparks would fly and they'd be smoky. So right. yeah, they got, it's yeah. like are they robots? So, Why are there sparks? Um, <laughs> they get slashed with a sword. Like the yes, Power Rangers. And then they flip. Oh, I forgot they're st- they're still playing. Yeah, they're still playing it. But like the newest one, they're kind of like cheating low-key what do you mean because they're morphers in the newest one mm. they can morph into any of the previous oh, power rangers yeah like oh i want to be the time force power ranger you could do that or yeah like, oh, wow. i want to be the dino thunder but that's really switch, smart so. for merchandise it yeah, is that's true because mm. then you back. can just resell all the old ones. so they still have a new ranger like uniform and like team right but then whatever color they are they have access to all the previous colors yeah. of that mm-hmm my favorite oh, only one. the same color, though? Yeah, but what's dope is if you're the sixth ranger, you have access to all the new rangers to the teams from all the old shows. Yeah. So, for example, so green, green and white. Silver, white. Ooh, um, all, the cool. those yeah, all the special ones. Yeah, all the special ones. Gold. So even if the team wasn't, like, five, five and then plus one, you know, I think um, Ninja Storm was four. It was red, yellow, blue, mm-hmm. and then they added the green samurai. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he got to be but the he gets, Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. it was the extra. Because it was the extra. the extra. I thought that's cool. And the next one's always the dopest ones. Yeah, usually they they are. Are. He's, he's, he's a bad okay. boy. Yeah. yeah, he's like, ah, oh, I'm not part of the main I was under Rita Repulsa's influence. He talks yeah. about that. <laughs> but not anymore. Yeah. I'm going to help you. Wow. That... It, yeah, the extra one is always usually the bad guy turned good, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or he, he was good, 
with some darkness in him. Right, And then right. they, like, cast a spell on him. So, like, two episodes straight, he's, like, a bad guy. And then they beat him up into his senses. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't believe I That's all you got to do is guys. beat him up yeah. until they... Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, violence they is the be, answer, children. Violence is the answer, awesome. kids. Don't, don't slash him across the chest with yeah. a sword. Dude, okay. Also, every time you get slashed across the chest in Power Ranger show, There's sparks explosion. fly out and you have to it's flip. flip. Yeah, There's an to explosion flip. Yeah. 50 miles away, but she's still flipping. Yeah, he's still flipping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it has to be like a. It can't be. You can't just jump. You have to flip. You have to flip. Yeah. yeah. That's how strong the explosions are. Yeah. You have to front. Flip yeah. The shockwave. Yeah. And then you have shock to wave. talk by nodding when and they... putting their hand yes. up in a fist. Ha, hoo, ha, hoo, hoo, yeah, because they don't yeah. have a mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, got, you have to know who's talking. <laughs> I like, need to know. Yeah. <laughs> For the fist. We we're going to stop you. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I have a news movie. Oh, and we're just talking about like all the puns. Oh my god. Okay, so. All right. If anyone who knows me. You know I oh, make puns. Man. There we go. But even when I was watching pa- the Power Rangers movie with Ivan News, I was just like, I get it now, guys. That movie's I understand gross, why. <laughs> I understand why some people hate me. Wait, wait, <laughs> like, oh, oh, like, wait. How bad was it? Oh my god! Even like, dude, I every line is a pun. Every line. Yeah, yeah, there was no room to breathe. Every single scene, almost every single line it's had like, a pun. It's like action Where's pun the, here. Next Ranger action. The pun Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. Oh, oh. so much puns. No, that that movie it. was with the White Ranger with the Falcon Zord, right? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. With Tiger the Zord animal Zords, right? Or is that the one? Yeah. Right, right? Yeah. Because the, the right. dinosaurs, they all died. Dorothea. And then they went to a different planet and became, there was one of those frogs. She six and she was swinging them The around. alien Zords were the ones from another planet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So the Asian guy was a frog. He's like, I'm a frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, but like a prince. And yeah, and then she gave him a kiss on the cheek and he was like, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> He's like, cool. All right, I'm done with this. <laughs> about the leap? I don't know if y'all want to do this one, but Leanna said one hour of pure screaming. Oh, Gary. I don't know about one hour. One hour? <laughs> we could do one minute. Get, I did. We, I did about twenty minutes. seconds earlier. Let's just loop it. Oh, what? I don't know. I, did, I did. I literally was while we were testing recording. I was just like ah, ah. Okay. Just uh. Just, so let's stretch it out for an hour. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Episode one point one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the oh, special bonus, go, yeah. bonus yeah, yeah. episode. It's a clip. There you go. An hour clip. <laughs> I bet. 1.1. 1. 1. What were you trying to tell me the other day? Whoa. On Wednesday? Oh, I had questions because I was going to take a communications class. Uh-huh. So I just have questions on communication. Sure. Period. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay. I, I do that. Question. You do. Gary's a comm major. Yeah. Gonna Almost do done. Yeah, don't he do is. it. Don't do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay when do so you go back again? Next week? 28. Man. Soon. January 28th. No, the 28th. <laughs> I was like, oh, Gary, it's not possible. Yeah. That's yeah. when you started. <laughs> Tuesday? That's not when you're done. Tuesday? Yeah, well, because school starts again on the 27th, but I'm only going on Tuesday. So. Oh, you start Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so how do you know what to write a speech about? There, that's oh, question. okay. Like, well, do you just pick <clears> a topic? Or? Learn or something, right? Yeah, we're going to learn. Yeah, generally, well, when it comes to speech classes like that, they're just trying to get you comfortable with public speaking. And so the uh-huh. best thing to do is find something you're interested in. So either something you already know about that you want to talk about or something you want to learn about that you're willing to talk about. So it's like, I don't know. So if RJ took a COM1 class, they said, all right, give me an informative speech on anything. Just let me clear the topic. (laughs) You can talk talk about like Funko, like the company. See, the thing is, I don't know too much about it, but I guess I would be willing to learn. Exactly. But I think what I can talk about and like really give a lot of information might be wrestling. Wrestling. Yeah, okay, so, so that, exactly because a lot of people, f- even now, people are just like, dude, wrestling's fake. Yeah, I would probably so, talk about like the misconceptions exactly. of wrestling. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. And so, as a wrestler myself, <laughs> as a, no, I'm not. <laughs> as a no, I, oh, dang. I, because it is probably something that I, kn- I don't know if it's I know the most about, but I've been a fan ever since I was like four years old. Yeah, oh. so it's right. literally been my life. And so generally that can guide you when you want to give a speech about something. And that, that in a speech class, like that's kind of a throwaway in a way. But a lot of people, what we, we were talking about it before, right? The number one fear is public speaking, public speaking. and yeah, then death. It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or something like that. And then like spiders. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, Aaron. Right. Aaron's face. <laughs> Aaron looked up. Do you fear yeah. public speaking more than you do uh, spiders? No, because no. dude, <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, no, tell, tell them about uh, Star Wars. Oh yeah. Oh, the video game. Remember, you can't. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Aaron, okay, I should have so, warned you. Uh, 
I love Star Wars, right? So they mm-hmm. had this game come out. It was Star Wars Fallen Order. And for the longest time, I was holding off for buying it or whatever because I was like, maybe I don't have time to play it and everything like that. But as soon as we saw Episode Nine, um, Rise of Skywalker, I was like, man, I was in such a Star Wars mood. So I was yeah. like, okay, I'm going to get Star Wars Fallen Order. <clears throat> and then I got it, I downloaded it, and I started playing it. And then I noticed that there's these weird looking insects in the game. Like one of them kind of had like the little thing, like the fangs, like, yeah, this, like it has a spider. Fangs. But it was like kind of crab looking. So I was like, okay. And then there's this weird maggot looking dog. Oh, and yeah. And I was like, and it has like a singular eye. Ew. It's and, weird looking. Yeah, I was Protocol. like, these are some weird. And then there's a three eyed toad. And it's like hecka big. It's big. And I was like, let me check just in case. So like I typed it in, I was like, does Fallen Order have spiders? <laughs> Dude. And then the top thing is like Star Wars Fallen Order Giants Bane Spider. And I was like, oh Dude, my god. Absolutely. Yeah. Literally <laughs> the first time in it. the first time you encounter it, it literally jump scares you. Oh yeah, no. It's, that's that's how you're how, yeah. That's, oh I, that's, that's too much yeah. anxiety. It's bro. really yeah. bad. We like, uh so we just watched well, I just watched it the first 55 time. Uh, Knives Out. <laughs> Knives Out. But uh, it, Aaron had already watched it before, and I noticed he started putting his hand to his face, and I was like, what is he doing? Very next scene, there's a spider. I was like, oh, it's because he knew. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one is, what scene is that? It's oh. towards the end. I might, oh. I might spoil because oh. it's still, a, it, yeah. Um, oh, oh, oh okay. yeah, you okay. remember now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the part where. No, 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 no. I want to <laughs> yeah, watch it. It's Tuesday. It's still Tuesday. It's still Tuesday. Yeah, this one we won't spoil even okay, then. Yeah. Oh, thank you. This is a good movie that you should watch. We, okay, we spoiled watch Grudge to save you guys from watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not but Grudge won't sponsor. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if, if, but if they won't sponsor Knives Out. Dude, oh, Knives Out was great. Good. Knives yeah. Out. If you love mystery and you love just... I don't know how I felt about uh, Daniel Craig's accent, though. I didn't like it was at it? first. It grew it on me. Grew, yeah, yeah, it grew on me. I was like, so Daniel Craig, James Bond. Yeah, yeah. He has uh, a Savannah accent. Yeah, he has a Savannah He's Cajun. He's Cajun. Really? Dude, it's in the movie. Dude, every, like, friggin Chris Evans kept calling him Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I agree. Because he sounded like a colonel. Oh, am, okay. I, am I racist or something? <laughs> <laughs> when did he say he was Cajun? I thought that's what he was talking about. I don't remember him saying he's Cajun. No. Wait, you said Savannah. Yeah, Savannah, Georgia. Savannah. Oh, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. Like molasses? What is Cajun? Yeah. Louisiana? Like molasses. Yeah, yeah, Louisiana. Louisiana. <laughs> like molasses. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> like molasses. I mean, I guess maybe... Okay, yeah, I'm, Cajun yeah. does kind of sound like that. Dude, the thing I'm is... Just, I'm just wrong. He doesn't sound like Gambit, though. See, so. the thing is, I think... No. Uh, yeah. I think he was like going Cajun. for, like, Georgian and Southern like that, but there were some parts where it was, like, I don't know what this accent is. Uh, really? Oh, it was just clearly. It was just vaguely southern. It wasn't like the detective yeah, yeah. in the grudge. Mm. It was oh, the de- <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh the detective in the grudge. Yeah. I don't know what accent he's trying to do. All I know, Every so accent. it's it's like it a small everything. spoiler, but for Knives Out, Daniel Craig looks all mysterious in the beginning because you don't know what he's there for, and uh, it's no, you think yeah, you I you think don't know James I Bond. He's wearing right, a exactly, suit, yep. yeah, and he's chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He starts talking, and you're like. Yeah, and then he starts talking. There was some, I heard huh? some people laughing when he first started talking because <laughs> no. they were like, "Wait, what? <laughs> exactly. Who's this? This British dude?" Yeah, he's... was that his real eye color? His eyes are nice. His eyes are like, blue, right? They're like piercing light blue. Yeah, I think that's his, like, real, that's his real. I feel like yeah, his eye color. Because yeah. I just remember, or I think I remember, because when he first got announced as James Bond, everyone was like. Not my James Bond. He's blonde, yeah, blue-eyed. Blonde James blonde. Bond has brown hair and brown eyes. Wait, yeah. Daniel Craig's blonde? Yeah. Yeah. Like a dirty blonde, but yeah. oh. definitely not like Pierce Brosnan, even yeah. Sean Connery back when he was James Bond. Pierce Brosnan. They had brown, yeah. brown hair. He's my James Bond. Oh, yeah, huh. <laughs> uh, you don't remember the scene? Yeah, it's like dirty. Oh, no, we're just kidding. Mm. We're not going to go there. Oh. And then, uh, yeah. Pierce Brosnan. It's cool. Any other questions for okay. Gary? For oh. Communications? Uh, most interesting topic you talked oh, about. Oh, okay. Here's not the most interesting one, but here's the one I hated oh, the most. Okay, so uh, <laughs> makes it interesting. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. it interesting. So, when I competed on the speech and debate team, when we we would do uh, on campus tournaments at Solano Community <coughs> College, and then so people that wanted extra credit could participate in the tournament and give a speech that they did in their class. And so, people that wanted just for extra credit, they would give like the worst speeches. <laughs> ever 
I walked into I walked into judge around because um, they're competing with each other, hmm. and then they you know go to the finals blah 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 blah. This one, <laughs> this one, uh, lady. Or, yeah, girl. I don't know. She, she was she was she was probably like nineteen. She gets up there. She has her note cards, and she just starts talking about salsa, <laughs> like the like chips and dip salsa. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Yeah. Here we go. And so, first, her first point was the history of salsa. I was in. I was like, the history of salsa. She was talking <laughs> about like, like, oh, it came from this country and it it made its way over here. And all of a sudden, now it's like a cultural phenomenon. I was like, okay, okay, go off. About salsa. <laughs> her second and third points were recipes. She did not care. No, she did not put any. I was so upset effort. because she had me. She was like. Yeah, I'm gonna you tell you. Going in the first half. <laughs> yeah, she had me in the first half. I'm not gonna lie. Man. Well, second half, stopped. literally, she was just like, "So first you get tomato. Oh no. Oh, pepper. how to make? Oh, dude, literally make listing me recipes. And then you cut the. You can dang. also add mango. If she you probably. Want. She she probably mango salsa, though. Of cilantro. Yeah. She probably Ooh. just looked up mm. like the history. Like probably the whole thing was technically plagiarized because if the recipe, she's probably literally just reading a recipe. Hey, she probably went to like a like a. Like a cool mom blog that yeah. wanted to do like cool original salsa, salsa mm. with mango. So, mm. No thanks. <laughs> so this is why I love salsa. Six pages. Oh, and I've then, seen uh, so many memes on that. Yeah, six pages of that, and then the recipes at the bottom. It's yep. like four steps. Mm -hmm. Four steps. Yeah, that's the one I remember the most because I literally could not believe I sat for ten minutes listening to her. Ten talk. minutes. Ten minutes wow. talking about How salsa. How did she stretch that out? That's what I'm saying. So you can oh, you can you can, use, <laughs> oh, you can use salsa with chips you can use salsa in tacos you can i was like <laughs> that must have been so the way the way you uh you move forward in forensic debates uh speech and debate or forensic speeches whenever i say speech and debate or forensics it's uh interchangeable you want to get the lowest score it's like golf oh. so Every round you go into, there's a different judge, and then I think it's uh, for that one it was two rounds. So one judge, what you want to do is get ones like all the way through. That means you're the best. Everyone thought you were number one. Hmm. I gave her a five, bro. Dang. Oh, I think there was only like four highest, people there. I gave her the five. Is that the highest technically lowest score you can ever get? Yeah. If uh, if you get ones in every round and you also get ones in the final round from all your judges, you can you're considered you picket fenced. Oh, why not get it? Yeah, yeah. But that's really good because you were the best in every round, even in the finals. Because in the mm -hmm. final round, there's three judges watching you. So that's five judges total. If they all give you a one, you're unanimously the best. Mm. But yeah, she was trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's why she was trying to get the extra credit. Yeah, it didn't matter. The thing is, it didn't matter how you placed in the tournament. You, you just had to go. Extra credit. Oh, yeah. You just had to so do if it. you were wow, doing it like pragmatically, yeah, if you're doing pragmatically, it was a Saturday. So. They had to dedicate some time, but what they got for it was some extra credit in the class. But if you didn't care for the tournament itself, you would bomb every round and leave. Wow. Because you still get the credit. Oh, yeah, because wow. you get the credit. And in their defense, it's still public speaking practice. True, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, it, they, she just sucked. <laughs> But, but she I got mean, you. she got you. Yeah, she she yeah. got me. I'm still talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe she wasn't bad. Wow. And then um, she was so bad. She's good. Yeah, she's an example to learn from. Yeah, mm. definitely. Okay. But the best people in the tournament, we would recruit to join the team, and a lot of them did. Nice. Oh, there yeah, you and they were really good. Right. So, now I know. Yeah, history well, of salsa. History of salsa. <laughs> Dude, I was down, man. That actually sounds like a cool topic to do. Because I was like, who would go, like if you? Okay, so one of the things is, if you can give a speech on a topic that's like completely new to the judge, that's that's good because then it's interesting for the judge. Right. Mm. Something you never heard before. Exactly. Yeah. Or if you can take something we've all heard about and then give a spin on it or give mm. some sort of background info that it's not very common. I see. So like one of the examples that we hated to hear in um, impromptu speaking, so just like making speech. up speeches on the spot. So tired of hearing about Martin Luther King, how he like had a dream. <laughs> because everybody like uses... Deja vu. What? <laughs> what? It's That's a dream. Deja vu. Oh, you're seeing it all again. That yeah. took me a while. Like it was a dream. <laughs> sorry. Don't don't hate RJ. Isn't that <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Huh? I'm not as bad as Ivan. MLK Day is coming up soon. So 
I'm not hating on MLK. I'm hating on everybody that used him as an example in impromptu speaking. Because it's like, okay, we get it. He had a dream. He wanted people to be equal. Tell me more, right? Because you can only hear it so many times every year, every round. You get over. Yeah, and usually they say the same point. It's a, it's the same speech from everyone. So what you would say is like, if you wanted to impress a judge, you'd be like, Martin Luther King was for a guaranteed minimum income. Martin Luther King was for unionizing workers. He was like a socialist or something like that. Give us something you don't hear them talk about all the time. He got shot. (laughs) He got shot. He got shot. For fighting for workers' rights. Oh, there you go. That's the hook. Yeah. Not Not just because he wanted them to be equal. It's because he was defending the working class also. The way he handled things was opposite of Malcolm. Yeah, I was just about to mention that. Yeah. I think that is like a really cool dynamic because that, that's brought up in a lot of TV. So Yeah, whose way was right. So um, Martin Luther King is Professor X. And yeah, Malcolm and Malcolm X is Magneto. Was Magneto. Magneto. Yeah. Which is funny because it's X and X, but they, they were yeah, was t- A lot of people remember Malcolm X for the violence, but he did a lot of like... And empower, like preaching empowerment because mm-hmm. he's a nation of Islam. My brother. Yeah. I think so. Something I don't like really that. know. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know. <laughs> We're not going to misrepresent there. or anything like that. But well, I, that I'll, sounds right to me. He did a lot of. He did a lot of like talking and yeah. empowering of people he had really through good his. Too. But people remember him for that picture of the gun in the window. Yeah. Because mm. he was willing to go there. But. I've heard um, that towards the end he calmed down and was less violent. Yeah, because he noticed that it wasn't fully getting, you know, the message across. Yeah, well, it got. I think it got a message across, but it, uh, they were like, not as willing to listen, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I, I all I know is that there's a Malcolm X mural at SF State. There right, you go. Where'd you go? <laughs> what else? Um, what else we got? Other questions. Oh, uh, that's all for me. Oh, that's all you got. Yeah. There is a lot, but I mean, we don't have to go through every single one of them if you want. Okay. You want to go to do another one? Here. Um, Let's see what we got. Those, all those right there. I'm going to look at them too. Wait, where did you start? So I started here with Julian's comment, but then went here. Well, okay, never mind. He's got it. Hmm? He's looking. Okay. For another one. Unless you want to save him for another time. Do you use water or milk to make your hot chocolate? Milk. Milk, yeah. What um, about you, Lance? Oh, I use water. I can lactose. Oh, okay. I guess that makes that's a lot fair. Of sense. Yeah, that's that's valid. So when I when I grew up, I, I, I used water, but it's better with milk. It's way better with milk. A lot better with milk. You know, I so, so I, I grew up water. doing it with milk. <laughs> yeah, I grew up doing it with milk. I did not know people did just water until I was like twelve. Did you guys? Th- yeah, have you know, ever did it both? I put water. Oh yeah. And then I mixed it, and then you if milk? it got hot, I put milk. Oh well, that's I, smart. Uh, that smart. I I started it to make it hot, boiled like either boil the microwave the water, <laughs> and then put the with the mix <laughs> and then add milk, not to make it because it's hot, like just to make it taste. <laughs> Wait, so Aaron, like, you use milk, right? No, I use water. So, so why uh, are you giving him a sour face for boiling the water? No, he he said because he uses he said water and then he pours milk into it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds gross, but I mean, if you're lactose, I feel like. But he's he said he said he's lactose. So but he's like milk. milk into yeah. It. When I was younger, I wasn't so. Oh, okay. yeah. I did it when I was younger. You know, Lance has uh, changed a lot. You know, a lot. I'm oh. the Green Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> he's the Green Ranger in the group. He's the Green Ranger. <laughs> but there's five oh, of he's us, green. right? He's oh. green. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody gonna pick the Ranger? Are we oh. are we choosing oh, Rangers? Yeah. Oh, I don't all know. right, I don't all right. I'll be pink. <laughs> nice. I'll just let you guys. I'll pick whatever's left. I was always. I don't know. Pterodactyl. I always like either the blue or black. I'll let you guys pick. I'll pick the left first. I don't know. Oh, okay. My favorite was always the six ranger. So mm-hmm. it didn't matter what color. Yeah. You're just always like you're the right. This is just my, he favorite, had a story. my favorite was always the red, but I don't want to be the leader. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'll be blue. You blue. Blue's like second in command. Huh. You watched the movie. Uh, RJ, I love RJ. Black guy. Well, I said either blue or the black, movie? so I'm blue or black. Uh, huh? Okay. Did you watch the movie, the new one? What's I'll, be pink. I'll be pink, bro. Yeah, red. The blue one is black too. All right, I'll be yellow. <laughs> <laughs> the new one I don't, don't want to be red. That's too much. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be red. That's too much responsibility. Yeah. 
Anything else? Okay, there are some more, questions. but we could. There's some that are, I feel like are long. It could be an all. It's find one that. Okay, well, find one you think it's long, and we'll we'll see if it works because we still have like what? ten minutes left. Let me get it. Find one that. Just find one, and we'll see if it's long. Okay, this one I don't think will be too long. Uh, it, we kind of talked about video games last last time. Video games that will never die out. Never. No. Golden Classic Eye. Ones. Golden Eye. Wait, Mario wait, Kart. Mean? Golden Eye. That will never die. Do people even play? No, it's just, it's just there was a Golden Eye that came out after N64s, and it yeah, sucked. it's like the PS. There was a PS2 one. So we know bad. a lot of like the 2K. classic ones before, but what about now? Mm. Games that are out now that will probably be classics in the in the future. Ooh, I got is two K a classic game? I, I feel I like it's just it. fun to play. It is if, fun. If, are we saying classic or it will never die out? Because Call of Duty will never die out. And they make the same. Oh, game okay. Year, I see what you're saying. Let's just say it. it's never going to die. The out. way I interpreted yeah, the question like was: game. But if it's classic, it'll stand the test of time, even years later. That's what I took it as. Even if they make a remake or. Yes. Okay. I'd say Smash. Ooh. Smash will Ooh. definitely Smash. stay. Yeah. Everyone will play Smash. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good one. Bro, Brawlhalla? No? Brawlhalla. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> eh, alright. Dude, bro, bro like, it's honestly, free. bro, it's like better, bro. Gang Beats? Gang Beats. Dude, Gang that one's fun. really fun that's because fun. It's, fun. it's intentionally clunky. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. I like that game. Rock Band 3? It just sucks. Oh, Rock Band. Rock Band? Hey, uh, we are Rock still Band. playing it. So. Yeah. What else? Uh, I'm trying to think. I think any Super Mario platform platformer yeah platformer they're, really last. they're really good mario kart mario, mario, kart. Party, mario, mario kart. kart although some mario? people don't like the mario party that they made it so that you worked as a team uh, there's a thing i forget which number it was but like eight you, you start in a you were in a car all together and then that's how you we're not determine how you move together. <laughs> team, team games are are rough yeah when you yeah yeah like um what's like the cooking one oh Ooh. uh overcooked overcooked, overcooked. Dude, that's, that's a stress- good. Uh, it's oh, stressful, good but it's a good it's team building stress- exercise. That is. If you play um, Mario Party, yeah, they have this similar some game games similar, like Overcooked. Oh yeah, yeah. we saw. And oh man, hmm. I remember yeah. I used to play this uh, mini game in Pokemon Stadium, <laughs> where you're like a tongue and you have to like. Oh, and you have to oh, eat the sushi. Yeah, sushi. Ah. Oh, that one was fun. Yeah. <laughs> he made a he made a sound. Yeah, when you when you when forget. you eat the spicy one. <laughs> <laughs> was it? I was like, ah. <laughs> it does. That was the best. No, uh, go, no, he goes, hey. Oh, we're kidding. Right. That's well, how he sounds when he does it. I like the other one better. <laughs> <laughs> what was an old Disney game, like from like old school Disney game that you guys like to play all the time? What like Disney game? Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom like Hearts. A video game? Kingdom, yeah, yeah, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Hearts. Like the computer game. Oh, I remember Toy oh, Story. We're still on the video game. Yeah. Oh. Huh, I didn't dis- like. I remember yeah. Toy Story computer game, but I don't remember how to, like what you had to do or anything like that. I just remember having one. Disney. I was on Cartoon Network. I don't know what you're oh, talking about. Like, oh, you mean the Disney oh, Channel? like a like Flash Disney game? That like Disney Flash Flash game. Com? Like the like, yeah, .com? Disney.com. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't Dude, play you know, I had, Stitches. I that's never, the Disney game I remember playing. I or the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I never asked I my that. parents for permission Rental. to oh, go yeah, into Disney. Oh, yeah, they said that you had to ask your parents permission. They did. That's right. There was this one game where you could, like, make the... Is that what you're talking about? In Lilo and Stitch, you can make... All the different experiments. Yeah, oh, I remember that. You can make the experiments. Uh, and look or at them. that one that likes to eat. And the sandwich you can make stack. the different sandwiches. Oh, I never got On the play. plate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I did play that. And I don't even like Disney, but I like that one. There's a, there's a That's So Raven one. <laughs> See, I don't remember the Disney ones. I remember the Cartoon Network ones. I remember more. Cartoon Network. Oh, so I remember uh, there was this one Ed and Eddie game on Cartoon <laughs> Network where like you skateboard. Yeah. I oh, played that yeah. a lot. And do the tricks. Cool. But then you could uh, at the time Cartoon Network was doing this thing where like you could pay for the Flash game for like like two dollars more tricks or something. Yeah, it was like yeah. really cheap. Yeah. But there'd be like more tricks and levels and stuff. Too. Yeah, dude, my mom was like, "Why?" I was like, "Mom, please, like, I want uh, I want to get the upgraded one. It's gonna get a virus. <laughs> no, no, it's safe. It's safe. Mm. I don't want to pay money. They're gonna steal my credit card. Nice. That's mom. It's Cartoon Network." That's like the biggest one. They're gonna steal my credit card. Yeah, yeah. Network, my credit card. Yeah. Cybersecurity wasn't really. Good. Yeah, it was. Played uh, kid next, kids next door. Oh, oh yeah. they had a game. Oh, what was I the game? What the, oh, I don't know. It was. The, I remember it was fun. Wait, what was the game like? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't game. remember. Oh, I remember, remember it. it was fun. I remember that too. The best flash game from Cartoon Network was a Teen Titans fighting game. 
Yes. That one was cool. Oh, that one was cool. Was dope. It I was didn't legit. Really watch it was. Like yeah. That, but that game the was game was fun. That one was pretty cool. And you yeah. unlocked. What was the <clears throat> name of Jinx the? Jinx was hard, and the dude Jinx was hard. Gadgets. Jinx. Gadget. Oh, I... gadget. Oh, the mines I... and stuff. Yeah. G is his name Gadget? gadget. I feel like it's Gizmo. 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 The small guy. Gizmo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I would always. Be what was his name? Sludge. 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 Oh, I hate Sludge. The you know. Sludge. Sludge guy. Yeah. Sludge. I'm pretty sure it's Sludge. Yeah. Dude, that game was awesome. Did you guys play the Coward Courage the Cowardly Dog one? Was there a Which game? one? I don't remember the game. It was like a escape game, sort of. You had to do something with a... You, like, click? Like an escape room? Yeah. But then, if you need to help, you go to the computer. Oh! Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah. I, I, mean, that's all I don't I have anything else. I, I don't. I, yeah. <laughs> just click. Just the fact yeah, that you remember yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Courage. I remember the other Ed and Nettie game where you had to make a... Machine, but it was basically like a for the job breaker. Oh, the job the job breaker. breaker. Yeah. I it's remember basically that. a Rube Goldberg. Yeah, yeah. I played that, that a lot. Cool. That was cool. Yeah. They also they had like a a winter one too. Oh, of uh, Ed and Eddie. No, no, of like all the Cartoon Network. Oh characters. yeah, it was a snowball fight. Was oh it was the yeah, snowball yeah, yeah. fight. Oh my god, that one. Yeah. You had a snowball fight, but you got to like choose your team. Yeah. And it was, like, different uh, characters. Different it was cross cross show. Yeah. Platform thingy material. That was cool. Oh, I did it again. Uh -oh. what, Keep your audio, guys. What's going on with your thing? Okay, it's oh, it keeps saying it's it can't synchronize, so I'm gonna stop recording again. Okay, Aaron. What? Wait, hold on. Oh wait. Oh, well, let me tell the really check. Cool. Ah, feedback. Feedback. Am I still okay? Okay, we're good. That's gonna be a pain to edit. Yeah, just okay. I don't know what's. I'm thinking I'm running out of space on my. Oh okay. On your laptop? Probably. I was thinking about getting a. There. Still there. <laughs> still there. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning on buying um. External. Yeah. I just bought one. Thanks. How so how many gigs? Two terabyte. Oh. Two. That's still pretty big. Wait, is it an HDD or an solid state? <laughs> Hopefully it's solid state. Hopefully. It's Hopefully. Oh my god. They only sell like SSDs. SSD. SSDs. That's what I'm talking about. That's probably SSD. No, they sell. You can buy an external. Uh, Drive that's not solid state. It just sucks. I mean, that it's would cheaper too. That would really suck if it was that. Two terabytes. That's you have to be careful with that. Two. Yeah, you gotta treat that like a baby if it's eight. eight Wait. HDD? Uh, yeah, HDD. Wait. What? Let me see. It doesn't. Seem that's probably. A, do you mind TV. telling us how much you paid? It was sixty bucks. It was on sale. There's no way that's solid state drive. Yeah. Sixty bucks. Do you know see? the original price? No. That's two terabytes. Yeah. The one Let me get one. The one terabyte was fifty. Tarjay. Tarjay. One fifty. No, the one terabyte was fifty. Oh. And then so. the two terabyte was like six. No, but that doesn't look 60. like it has moving parts. Yeah. It, does does it make noise when you plug it in? Like, if a fan? It does, like spinning. Does that tell what it is? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Hard hard drive HDD. There's discs inside that move. There's magnets. Mm -hmm. That's how it yes. compiles all your info. Mm -hmm. So if it does do that, make sure you don't drop it. Yeah. yeah. You gotta treat that thing carefully. I remember because I broke one of my friends. Because <laughs> I, I think I don't remember. I, I don't think I dropped it. I Wait, don't remember is it? how I dropped it? But it was my fault that it fell. I, I oh, felt no. like there was a motor on it before, so I'm gonna Do just get a case. Just get a case. Yeah. Because if you drop it, the disc will move, and then or it can move, and then it won't. It yeah. won't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to open it up, and that's mm -hmm. that might cause that's damage already. <laughs> so if if you take care of that hard drive. You got two terabytes for sixty bucks. That's still that's a very that's good not deal. bad. Yeah, it's a very good deal. I asked why about it. you didn't tell me nothing about. Solid I didn't know all about. Drives. I didn't. I didn't know that there was a difference. I thought they were all like that. It's probably because the only thing solid. he asked me was like, uh, one terabyte for fifty, <coughs> two terabyte for sixty. I was like, if it's only ten bucks difference, I say get the two. Yeah. Bucks. No, that's I true. Guess. Yeah, that's, that's for sure true. But I didn't know about. I didn't know there were two different types. Yeah. If it sounds like they're spinning, just yeah. be careful with That's it. That's why there's some that were. <clears throat> that one was like sixty, then the next one over was like eighty something. Yeah, because uh, I, like... I was looking at a, I was looking at a five hundred and twelve gigabyte solid state drive. It was like eighty something dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. Target, go to Target. And then uh, a one, a one terabyte Ooh, solid state thing, drive was. You said it was on uh, sale. Yeah. It had like a little tag thingy on it. One sixty. Yeah, which is cheap. So for if you if you oh, do try to go to that sounds, like, that sounds more like it. Yeah. If you try to go to Target and get that same sale, it may or may not be done. No. So Target sales run from Sunday to Saturday. Oh, boo. And today we're recording it on Saturday, so today's Saturday. 
No, seating, so. There's a piece of ice. Okay, well, it's gonna connect my laptop to the internet real quick. Can so, what us? can we expect? Oh, wait. I might not be here next week, just a heads up. Oof. Say it's not so. Yeah. We're gonna call you. I'm just kidding. Yeah. You're gonna be here. No, I won't. Uh, uh -huh. going to Fresno. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's fair. It's okay. Uh, Should we run it again without Gary or? Nah. Call no. Gary. Oh, no. Call we, Gary. we won't be able to call you we either. Be, like, I, I don't know call? what we'll be doing next oh, week at night. This is the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sound, sound guy Lance. We'll see. We'll, we we'll could, figure it out. Okay. Uh, but what, what can we expect for the next one? Uh, Just like what are some questions that we could... Uh, well, think uh, about. We don't have to answer no, it. This is one that I thought next time it could be samurai next like by itself. It's embarrassing stories. Oh, embarrassing stories. I got. Oh, I gotta think of some now. And then I got another one. Tea. We were saying before you got here, or I think maybe you were inside, um, was how you all met each other in first impressions. But we were saying like, you guys, except for me, basically grew up with each other. Yeah, I don't remember meeting Wes. I don't remember meeting Lance. Because it's really just me. I I don't remember specifically meeting Aaron, but there is like an old memory there that's mm -hmm. funny that where he makes me give him his money. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and then this is money. another one. Interesting habits that you have. That was from Kiana. Okay. Her example was that she spaces out a lot. I don't know if that's it. You have that in common, Lance. <laughs> an interesting habit. An interesting habit. Like, <laughs> no, 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 he spaces in. It's different. Spaces in. Habits that you have that maybe like Whoa. that are just like weird or something you can't explain. Well, those are some topics that we can maybe talk about next time. Yeah. Or and I'll, oh, we'll yes. keep uh, asking for more things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The people's Questions. podcast. We're 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 men of the people. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's Gary's My what pop is that? filter. Pop filter just started falling. It just gave up. It went. So, All right, so who? I was gonna say, yeah, who's gonna put pepper in my nose? Uh, <laughs> Is that really gonna help every episode? I can do it. I'll do it, bro. Oh. All right, first, uh, yeah, huh? as we close out again, be sure to subscribe to us. You're on a time crunch. No, I'm and uh, <laughs> where can so we find you guys at? And Ooh. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> follow me in real life at. Uh, <laughs> Is it your address? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> follow us on Instagram at Samurai Nighttime Ooh. and YouTube Samurai yeah. Nighttime. Yeah. If you want to follow our personal accounts, sure. If you want, they're the only ones that we follow on Samurai Night. Time. That's yeah. true. Follow me at. Do you want to say it? Nope. Okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, they'll find. <laughs> yeah, they'll find. I, I don't care. I don't post anything. Yeah. Except the spoilers for Star Wars. Oh, oh, oh you ruined it. Some people. <laughs> I did. I did. They they didn't read the caption. That's yeah, I know that. Yeah. Was, yeah. Sorry. I I, all caps. <laughs> Man, I guess that's. Episode yeah. one. Yeah. Samurai Night Time. How are we going to close it out? Uh, are we really going to sneeze? <laughs> oh, my. No. Okay, if, you guys, if anyone has any suggestions of how we can close out. If 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 no one does, every week, I'll I'll just sneeze. sneeze. You just scream. And then butterflies. Uh, yeah. yeah. And just cut it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Perfect. So, all right. All right ready? One, two, three. Ah!